Did you know 75% of older Americans still have landlines in their homes? Some use them to connect to other services, but many actually use landlines to make phone calls. One Houston family says they didn't want their phone, they didn't want the phone mess that they're dealing with to happen to others, so they called our Amy Davis for some help. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. This is something a lot of us may have to deal with and help our parents with one day. When a loved one loses a spouse from homes to bills, they've got to change the names on all those accounts, and it's a lot of paperwork. Well, adding to one family's stress, is AT&T's outdated computer system that apparently can't even access old landline records. This rotary phone is command central for Janice. They've had this phone number for 60 years. I'm looking at pictures of little Rocky. This landline number is the one everyone in the family calls to touch base. So if the power goes out, it still works. And that's very important whenever we've had hurricanes. But trying to change the primary name on the landline has been a disaster. My father passed away over a year ago, and my parents' AT&T accounts were in my father's name. When we called customer service to try to put the accounts in my mother's name, they were not able to help us. Janice and her daughter Evelyn have made countless calls and in-person store visits to AT&T. They were even asked to bring in a death certificate, and they did. And um, we've been told that the landline accounts are on an old computer system. The corporate stores can't access it. And even when we called customer service numerous times, they would tell us the account doesn't even exist. He just told us just accept it the way it is. He was not able to fix it. The problem, that landline number is linked to Janice's cell phone account. So since we can't access the landline account, we cannot set up paperless billing, auto pay um, for the cell phone or the landline account. The family has seen our warnings about mail theft involving checks, so Janice has been diligently driving to the post office to hand deliver her payments. So that there was no chance for uh, someone to steal it from her mailbox. I was able to transfer everything into my mother's name, all her other accounts, the house, the car, but not AT&T. That's the only account that is still out there. So we did reach out to AT&T a week ago and we did get the people at the corporate office to start talking with Janice, but her problem is still not resolved and AT&T representatives won't answer our questions about why they can't seem to access the landline records. In a statement, AT&T wrote these interactions did not meet our expectations for how we serve our customers. We have contacted the customer to apologize for the delay and are working to resolve her billing and account concerns. We know on Friday they told them that it would take another two to three months, okay. but they're working on it. And then over the weekend, they said, we're going to try to divide these accounts. They're coming up with something, but the bottom line is why can't you just access this old 60 yeah. year old yeah. account? Wow. So we have a landline too. Yeah. We suggest just in case whatever else right. happens. I couldn't tell you my number. It's in my favorites, but uh, right. Yeah. But you'll have stuff. service. If cell phone go. service gets yeah, yeah. knocked out, mm -hmm. safe. Thank you. I hope they find your record if you have a problem. I know. Right? It's just a drunk right. call on you, Amy.